Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What a beautiful day. This is a Sunday morning here again. I think it was just a few days ago, it seems. It was Sunday, and I was here saying the kinds of things I'm about to say now. And a few days before then, I was doing it again. It seems as if these Sundays just keep repeating themselves, and the message keeps getting repeated. And I guess it happens because it needs to. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so very much for stopping on this post. My message for you today is freedom from slavery. This Sunday morning, my message to America is a little different. As I awoke this morning, as usual, thinking of you, I thought of the struggles of life for us all. Slavery crossed my mind. As I contemplated this, a YouTube video of... Irish slaves. Well, it played. And it helped me to conclude that all variations of humans have at one time experienced slavery with a commitment never to experience it again, even at the extent of trying to find some subtle way to take advantage of others. With our dealings without righteousness. Possibly because of the system of capitalistic, uh, it begs for it to happen that way. But the message I bring is, as if I am led and persuaded to believe that my purpose includes alerting America, as is the rest of humanity that all of us are under slavery. We either push and promote the agenda like Donald Trump or energizes it like Senator Graham or the Pillar Guy or Rudy Gullian or others. Or we are complicit, talking, doing nothing like the millions of news and TV show hosts. To me, it is plain as daylight. Every human being wants to be satisfied. We are made that way. As we endure life, it is in pursuit of satisfaction. Part of that satisfaction is knowing who we are, which means what we are, why we are, and being that, appreciated for that, satisfied at that a life of peace prosperity and freedom a life of joy and happiness and living your dreams knowing that needs wants and desires are always met because the resources required have been made available the skills and talents necessary to endure or enable are the joys of our life's living. Abundance exists because it is the will of the people to keep it so. No complaints, satisfaction. Now in achieving this level of understanding, it is apparent that humans begin to focus on an invisible power that they could give life to in being themselves as opposed to slavery. This I've described here is not the American way or the way of any other power on earth. Yet, every American wants, they want it. Not knowing how to achieve it, they resort to the teachings of their upbringing, which keeps them bound to some form of slavery, slave or slave master, which is the foundation of deception, of lies and haves and have nots, poverty, crime and violence, hatred, racism and bigotry, terror and war. Each of these represents the steps that leads to democratic capitalism, socialistic communism, dictators, or any man-made system.
The one that works is divine. It is not mine. I didn't determine it. I recognized it. And I'm sharing it with you. And hopefully, my friend, it will assist you in freedom from slavery. Thank you.